Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got a bit of big news for you today. I finally decided on a channel name. So the name that I chose is My Neighbour Isla. And the reason I chose this, as some of you might have already guessed, is it's inspired by the Studio Ghibli film My Neighbour Toto. I'm a huge fan of Studio Ghibli, so I just thought it was a very wholesome little name that I could choose for my channel. So it's already been technically now by the time this video is released, it will be the third week of my channel being active. So it took me three weeks to decide on a channel name. So for today's video, me and my housemates are going to go into the centre of Nottingham and we're going to go around a load of charity shops and do a bit of thrifting and see what kind of stuff we can pick up. See if I can find any funky clothes from some charity shops and vintage shops and then I'll do a little bit of a haul at the end and give you a little tour of my clothes that I buy. Off we go. Time to go. <laughs> Okay, so one of my goals today is to find an Argyle vest because Amy has one <laughs> and I've not been able to find one <laughs> that's like really cheap and my size. So that is one of my goals today. Are you winning? Yeah. You are. You look cute. Is back. I have brought a multitude of things. So let's have a cheeky look to see what I have. I have one jumper, another jumper, a top, another top, <laughs> most importantly, a vegetarian Greg sausage roll. So to make this haul a little bit more interesting, I thought I would include what everyone brought today. So my friends Susanna and Amy have also included some of their stuff. Tell me what you brought, Amy. I brought Band. Beautiful. It's like three pounds. Stunning. What this? Little, little chain bracelet is also three pounds. I got these. <laughs> like six of old Vogue, old New Yorker postcards, which I love. And I got this jumper, which I don't know if it's going to suit me, but I think it's very cute. Let's see, and that was like 15 pounds. Mm. What was it? Shoes. How much were these? Oh, the <laughs> uh, Wait, they were 15! Yeah. What else did you get? I got this sort of mother of pearl little necklace. These um, vintage Vogue postcards. Mm -hmm. Very lovely. I love the difference between yours and Amy's cards. <laughs> so, this is the first top that I brought. It's a kind of silky, satiny vintage top. 
um, that you can have tied down or tied up like I've got it now and this was 15 quid so it's a little bit pricey but I think it looks really cute and it's really good for kind of casual wear or if you wanted to dress it up and go to a nice evening dinner it'd be quite good for that as well. This is the second top that I got. It's very similar to another top that I already own, just in a different kind of stripey colour. Um, it's very cute. I think it's a little bit small on me now that I've tried it on, because I quite like oversized clothes, but it's really good for layering. And it's got some nice autumnal vibes. And it was only £7, so I was pretty happy with this deal. It's really cute, and I'm quite glad I brought this one. This was my favourite purchase of the day. It's this really, really comfy, big yellow jumper. I'm a big jumper fan. I love wearing fluffy, oversized clothes. One of my favourite jumpers uh, that I wore in the macaroons video, I've had for like nearly three or four years and I've worn it all the time so I figured it was time to invest in a second nice comfy jumper and I really love this one it was £16 so again a little bit over pricey for a jumper but I was really happy with it so this is the last item of clothing I have brought and it is again another jumper and the reason I got this as I mentioned earlier in the video is that I really wanted an Argyle sweater vest but no matter how much I looked I couldn't find one that was not overpriced or not an ugly pattern. So I bought this jumper for six pounds and I thought maybe if I do a bit of customization and cut some of the stuff off here that I can make it into a vest. We'll see how that goes. I've never customized a t-shirt like this before. I did a bit of textiles when I'm younger. So I'll give it a go and see how it turns out. So I don't think doing this is gonna to be too hard. I've locked it up online and I'm pretty sure all you have to do is cut off the sleeves. So we're gonna give that a go and fingers crossed my jumper will say turn out alright and I haven't just wasted six quid. So that was pretty easy. I've now got a sleeveless jumper, so let's try it on and see if we need to do anything else to it to make it look kind of cool. So I put this shirt on because I think it's quite a good shirt for layering with, and sort of the colours match, so let's give it a go and see if it was worth my time trying to do this. Okay. <laughs> Well, first of all, I'm just gonna say, I think the sleeves are a bit too big still, but it's kind of cool. It definitely doesn't go with this t-shirt, so I might find another t-shirt and see how it looks. So I've literally just taken that undershirt off and I think I like this a whole lot more now. It goes a lot better when it doesn't have that contrasting color underneath, me. And it's really damn cozy just by itself. So it's a bit long, but I can obviously tuck it in like this make it a crop top if I want to. So it looks really cute as a little crop top as well. So I'm kind of happy that I spent the money on this now. It definitely was worthwhile. So I guess that's it for today's video. I'm sorry it was only a short one, but I'm just trying to do this between doing a presentation and planning a dissertation and all of the uni work that I've got to try and do. This was just a bit of fun for me, a bit of way to get out of the house before lockdown gets too um, intense. Maybe by the time this video is released we may have gone into a full-blown lockdown again in the UK. I can't be sure so I'm getting out of the house as much as I can as safely as I can before that possibly happens. But yeah I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then leave a like and comment down below if you want to see more of this kind of content. But until then I'll see you in the next video fellas. Bye!